has tanuj shauri defaulted has kanika gupta defaulted tanuj shauri and kanika gupta have they taken money from investors in us dollars in the millions and not given it back and the answer is damn right they have and not in the distant past it is not in the distant past they have done it very recently they have done it as recently as 2017 sold uh the units or the instrument of barworks it was fraudulent from the word go it was fraudulent and they sold it it was called the bar the square yards it should be called the square yards investment scam however it goes under the name of the barworks investment scam square yards reportedly made large amounts of money about square yards reportedly made about 20% commission you gave them if you gave them 1 lakh us dollars they straight away got 20000 us dollars for making you give 1 lakh us dollars Hi friends this is Krish the Urban Naxal and we are talking about square yards convertible notes or convertible debentures square yards is saying that it has already raised 10 million in convertible notes from multiple investors now in 2017 they raised these convertible notes from multiple investors and the image that they are portraying is that these multiple investors are aware uh, of the risks and they are willing they have not been suckered into this they have not been fooled into putting money into convertible notes and they know what square yards is and they believe in the growth story of square yards so what i am saying is that they have or they may have raised this kind of money and they may have raised it by fooling people or largely by fooling people by bullshitting people by keeping people in the dark they keep using the words square yards square yards square yards as if you are not supposed to question beyond the words square yards what is the name of the corporate entity that they are referring to when they say square yards for example when you say reliance you will not just stop with reliance you will say reliance industries limited rel you will say rel has had a fantastic uh, q4 and so on and so forth in the case of square yards there is a square dot com private limited sdpl there is a square yards consulting private limited yes there is then there are a whole lot of other companies which totally don't exist they literally don't exist many of the companies abroad supposedly parts of square yards part of this huge well spread out international phenomenon called square yards spread throughout the gcc countries also spread out in canada and australia and europe and america god knows where that phenomenon which they are claiming for the most part that phenomenon does not exist those companies those companies are either shell companies or they don't exist at all how are they marketing these convertible debentures one person writes from dubai square yard investment scam psa just got paid a visit by one of the portfolio managers of square yard She called up yesterday and she said she had an investment opportunity that she would like to discuss with me. I knew the moment she said those words it was a scam. She scheduled a meeting with me and came to visit me at my work. She started with a presentation of what looked like a Ponzi scheme of assured returns for an investment that even a cleaner can afford. Like 
just give us some money that that way she went on to say that the money would be invested in property construction in india and the company is able to pay investors 12% assured returns she said that instead of borrowing money from the banks they borrow from the investors and then pay them 12% in interest as compared to 15% to the bank on completion of the property the investors will continue to enjoy rental income on the property this is what she seems to have told this guy a simple google search will reveal their past dealing beware of them and if they approach you hold your money and run this is someone who wrote from dubai on reddit 4 years ago and on the same reddit i'll give you the link in the description below there is another link scammed ua investors demand answers over bar works scam that's the heading and now i am going to read you that news item this may look like old news but i need you guys to ask the question the investors need to ask the question was tanu tanuj shauri fooled was tanuj shauri really fooled by all these people with fake names like jonathan black now tanuj shauri and his wife kanika gupta and their entire team they are not a bunch of kids these guys get fooled that easily and they then take this barworks thing and they sell it to their investors was tanuj shauri cheated i don't think so i don't think so i i am guessing that he got paid up front tanuj shauri and kanika gupta i doubt it i don't think they are cheated and if they are cheated what does it tell you about the kind of people they are what does it tell you about their quality does it tell you they are high quality good businessmen i don't think so i think if they were fooled by the bar works scam you can't trust them with your money so why on earth would you give them your money your hard earned dollars or your hard earned bareni dinars i'm going to read this news item and i want you to listen to what tanuj shauri says apply your mind to what tanuj shauri says think about what he is saying and apply your critical faculties and ask yourself the question is this true is this man lying to me is this guy serious fictitious persons he believed in fictitious persons with names like jonathan black or did he not believe in that did he make us believe in it because we are the paplus we are the chutias ask the question if jonathan black was fictitious if barworks was a scam if a number of companies involved in the so called barworks thing did not exist which is a fact they did not exist this is way back in 2017 in 2023 i am telling you that a number of square yards companies don't exist they literally don't exist is that so far fetched is it really far fetched investors who pumped millions of dirhams into a business startup in new york are demanding answers from the brokers who sold them the deals again question are they just brokers because square yards had gone out of their way to say in an economic times article we are partners we are partners of barworks not brokers partners so demanding answers from the brokers tries to minimize it tries to reduce the culpability and the responsibility of square yards and tanuj shauri so are demanding answers from the brokers who sold them the deals as the national reported last week hundreds of people in the uae were promised up to 125% returns on their investment into hot desking firm bar works oh, sorry hot desking firm bar works again notice the wishy washy firm firm company firm eh, you can say anything 
hot desking firm Barworks that transformed old restaurants and bars into office space. Units were sold for $30,000 each in the US and for $10,000 in Istanbul. When it emerged, the mastermind behind the scheme was rogue businessman Renwick Haddon. It was revealed the project was in fact a $40 million Ponzi scheme and doomed to failure. Square Yards sold this. Square Yards actively marketed this in 2016. Hundreds of units were sold in the UAE from the offices of Square Yards by the people of Square Yards, by the personnel engaged by Square Yards. A real estate firm selling Dubai property to rich investors in India, Singapore and Hong Kong. And let me add, rich or not, but bloody gullible investors. It is selling property sitting there in UAE, in Bahrain, in Kuwait, to people in India, in Singapore, in Hong Kong, etc. Because it crosses jurisdictional lines. They sell cross jurisdiction and then those guys get, they just disappear. Those are, those are just chokras. They are not real, uh, you know, they are, they are nobody you can hold accountable. They don't understand what is a genuine financial instrument and what is a scam. They have no understanding of corporate law. They have no understanding of debentures. They have no understanding of how the markets work. And these guys are made to sit in these offices of square yards. Why? To dilute accountability. They could have made the call from India. They will not. Why? Because Indian police can get on their ass. But if the crime happens in Dubai, in Kuwait, in UAE, or it happens in the office of Kuwait by a guy who, who was there on a visitor visa and he was paid a salary from someone in India, some entity in India, or some entity in UAE or some entity in Singapore, how do you hold him accountable? He doesn't even know the name of the company that's engaging him. He doesn't even have a proper appointment letter. His appointment letter is from someone else. How will you hold him accountable? That is the reason they are using offices of Square Yards, a real estate firm selling Dubai property to rich investors in India, Singapore and Hong Kong. Those who have now lost their life savings are demanding answers as to how much the brokers knew about bar works and the shady operators behind the scene. My guess, they fucking knew it entirely. They knew it all. They knew the entire story from beginning to end. They knew how the story had begun. They knew how the story would end. Square Yards knew. Tanushwari knew and they got paid in advance. How? By some backdoor methods. Some other company. Someone somewhere got paid. They knew. Because they are not babes in the woods. Unlike your average investor, unlike your average Gulf country investor who only knows how to earn money, doesn't know how the real world works with money, doesn't understand corporate law. These guys understand corporate law and they play with corporate law. They know each and everything that they do. They know exactly what they are doing. One of the investors who lost $150,000, $1.5 lakh dollars, said he was contacted by the Square Yard's chief executive, that is Tanuj Shori, in May, warning him there may be issues with future payments he was owed. So first they sell it to this guy and then they say Tanuj Shori gives him a call, excuse me sir, I am calling to say that there will be issues in payments. We may not be able to give you returns. Investors were given the names of Barworks Relationship Managing. Now what did they do? Tanuj Shori phoned, I am extrapolating here, they, Tanuj Shori probably gave names of Speak to this relationship manager of Barworks and speak to that relationship manager. Investors were given the names of Barworks relationship managers who are dealing with their portfolios 
but now they are unsure if those names were real or just convenient pseudonyms were they real names i was given so many names says mr said mr singh who bought nine units in istanbul in march two months after hado's involvement in bar works became public knowledge jonathan black franklin kennard julian tzanayev sam ora graham edwards and jessica mayo now i realize they were all likely false names to entice us to hand over our money a whole bunch of imaginary persons jonathan black franklin kinnard julian tazanev sam ora wow 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 graham edwards jessica mayo what about this company which is supposed to exist called square yards holding limited for which they are collecting money supposedly convertible notes and they are they are collecting similar figures 10000 20000 50000 1 lakh 1 1/2 lakh us dollars does it even exist has it any connection any connection at all with tanuj shori or the entities in india which go by the name of square yards square.com private limited square yards consulting private limited does it have any connection with any genuine entity here in india i am saying it doesn't when you realize that these guys went with entirely made up names like jonathan black and jessica mayo they are not beyond creating imaginary company names so this guy says now i realize they were all likely this what's this guy this singh who bought nine units in istanbul what i was given so many names says mr singh who bought nine units in istanbul in march two months after hado's involvement in bar, bar works became public knowledge so he was made a chutia after the scam had already broken which means these guys were selling bar works units even after renwick hado's involvement in bar works became public knowledge and it became public knowledge so tanuj shori must have known it another few months in advance if he didn't know it in the beginning i suspect he would know it right in the beginning so these guys says janathan black and all these names now i realize they were all likely false names to entice us to hand over our money sad very sad and uh, black is understood to be the alias used by hado and the signatory on many of the investment contracts who is the signatory on your investment contract if you have gone into these convertible notes i am curious to know who is the signatory on your investment contract there has to be a contract right it has to be signed from that side right there is a counterparty they are supposed to pay you who is the signatory is it tanush shori i doubt it whoever is the signatory does that signatory exist i am saying the company itself doesn't exist square yards holding limited itself does not exist is what i am saying let's assume for a moment it exists and we will assume for a moment it's a legit company who is the signatory of who is that actual person who is signing your convertible notes will you please find out check it out black is understood to be the alias used by hado and the signatory of many of the investment contracts when they complained to square yards when these investors complained to square yards they received a reply from the ceo's office that is tanush shori's office 
inviting them to join a class action lawsuit against barworks but here's the catch but lawyers would be charging 650 dollars an hour for their services so after cheating the investors tanuj shauri has the sheer gall the unmitigated shameless gall to say yeah sure you can join a class action suit and lawyers will be charging you 650 fucking us dollars for an hour for their services not we will take the responsibility and we will file a class action suit we square yards will file a class action suit against these guys who cheated you because they cheated you through us so we are aggrieved did they do that no they are making you pay for the money for your the so called legal services at 650 bucks an hour what is that i say that's bullshit man this stuff is crazy Square Yards told investors they were only made aware of the FBI investment into Bar Works at the end of June. Just weeks. Uh, let me read this again because I am wrapping my brain around this the same as you. Square Yards told investors that they were only made aware of the FBI investigation into Bar Works at the end of June 2017 obviously just weeks before Hado was arrested in Tangiers. Tangiers is Morocco. In an email to investors, Square Yard CEO Tanuj Shori told them his staff were fully complying with the FBI investigation. Recent news concerning Barworks Inc. News concerning Barworks Incorporated has made us increasingly concerned that the representatives made representations made by that company were not true and in fact may have been fraudulent the email from ceo tanuj shori said now what do you want to say about this absolute shameless thing we our tanuj shori says we ourselves are shocked at these revelations and have been coordinating and communicating with a large number of people to come up with a way forward for our investors. Oh, they need to come up with a way forward, is it? Oh, wow. To come up with a way forward. It's corporate language for fuck you suckers. That's what it is. Corporate language for this. We intend to be in contact, contact with the Securities and Exchange Commission to fully cooperate and assist in their investigation. Yeah, right. Because if you don't, you will get your ass dragged over the coal. Our hope is that if there are any Barworks assets available, the SEC will collect them into a fund for the benefit of all investors to share equally. And there is one significant, that is one significant reason why we will be cooperating with the investigation says this guy completely shameless completely shameless while we are hopeful that sec will be able to ferret out any available assets that can be recovered for barworks investors we are aiding our investors by retaining an independent investigator oh wow wow amazing to search for useful information about Barworks and its owners as well as assets that may be recoverable. We will share the information covered by uncovered by the in investigator with SEC and if the SEC deems it appropriate, we will share that invest information with you as well. Oh, wow, amazing, amazing. If SEC deems it appropriate, we will share that information with you as well. We have also learned that at least two civil suits have been filed in US courts against Barworks on behalf of Barworks investors. Square Yards told investors that Zoe Miller and Jonathan Black, who identified themselves as founders of Barworks, may 
have misrepresented their identities. No, I love. Mm. Wow, I love the delicacy of this this sentence. I love the delicacy. I love the fucking delicateness of this sentence. Just listen to this. So, wow, kya baat hai? Square Yards told investors that Zoe Miller and Jonathan Black who identified themselves as founders of Barworks may have misrepresented their identities. Zoe Miller's true identity is believed to be Zoya Kaselova, a close associate of Renwick Addo, they said. Talk about understatement. And I am trying to understand I am trying to wrap my mind around this. I am pretty damn sure that if they were going to market something, wouldn't Tanuj Shori have asked for the credentials of Zoe Miller? Wouldn't he have known that Zoe Miller was Zoya Kiselova and Renwick Haddo was Jonathan Black or a bunch of other personalities? Would Tanuj Shori not have known? I find it very hard to believe. Sorry guys. I find this extremely hard to believe. The broker said Barworks had not been paying the assured rental to their investors as agreed under the contract. No, 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 no. Let's let me correct this. Square Square Yards said Barworks had not been paying the assured rental to their investors. Whose investors? Square Yards investors. Not Barrows investors. I don't want to call this Barrows. Because why? Because Square Yards said in an economic times, this thing that they have partnered Barrows Incorporated. They have partnered. Now, was Tanushwari lying? Is it, are, you, are you to suppose that when Tanushwari says, we are partnering these guys. He only means that they are brokers. Or should we assume that Tanushwari was telling the truth there and therefore he is lying here? The brokers. No, 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 no. Square yard, Barworks partners, Barworks partners, Square Yards said Barworks had not been paying the assured rental to their investors as agreed under the contract. Barworks. Partners of Barworks. Square Yards. Not, not just brokers. Hado was arrested in Morocco and could face up to 40 years in prison if convicted. Yeah, I'm just wondering about Tanuj Shori. I'm wondering about Tanuj Shori. Tanushwari got away clean and the other guy, what's his name, Anupam Rastogi, got away clean. Hado was arrested in Morocco. Oh, nice. What about Tanushwari? Not yet arrested. Not yet charged. Not yet under suspicion. A story is being carefully constructed. It has been carefully constructed over the past few years. The story is GCC based NRIs bending towards the profitable real estate market in India. GCC NRIs will be the next big Indian real estate investors. This you can see this is on Square Yard's blog. Now they are creating the story, the India story. And they are saying, be it the citizens of people around the globe, the real estate market of India has remained a pioneering blah, 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 you know, a promising market. Moreover, the, the interest of non-resident Indians in the market has helped this sector to flourish more. There are plenty of reasons why these NRIs are keen on investing and parking their money in Indian real estate. According to the real estate market experts, the lucrative investment choices with simplified taxation 
ओके व्हाट व्हाट इज इट सिंप्लीफाई इट अगेन यू यू गेट द पिक्चर सो दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ नॉनसेंस दैट इज बीइंग परपेट्रेटेड व्हाई डू एनआरआईज वांट टू इन्वेस्ट इन रियल एस्टेट इन इंडिया नाउ यू नो हु दीस थिंग्स आर टारगेटेड एट दे आर टारगेटेड एट एनआरआईज हु आर गोइंग टू रीड दिस एंड से या या अदर एनआरआईज वांट टू इन्वेस्ट इन real estate in india yes 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 so i am going to put my money in a real estate success story and what is more of a real estate success story than this multi platform integrated blah 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 called square yards and so when someone calls me from square yards i say oh yeah india growth story yeah 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 yes yes no nri is want to invest yes 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 i want to invest i am nri i am nri i want to invest this is mind fuckery please stay clear of this kind of propaganda this is not genuine stuff this is not the, none of this is information this is all disinformation your investors you are supposed to take good care of your money think about these things apply your mind don't get taken in don't be ashamed to ask questions एम प्रश्न अर्बन नक्सल जय महाराष्ट्र जय हिंद जय जवान जय किसान